Welcome everybody to the Pedal E Box segment for Wednesday, October 30th. I've got four bets for you. We got five minutes. Let's get straight into it. Detroit hosting the Winnipeg Jets. And the bottom line here, guys, is I want to be betting against the Winnipeg Jets right now. They came out on fire. They won eight games in a row. And then they proceeded to lose their last game to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now they hit the road and they play this Detroit Red Wing team, which although is a mediocre team, they are on the rise. They are young. They are dynamic. And hey, they just took Edmonton to overtime. Uh, with that said, Detroit has lost two games in a row. Uh, and I feel like this is a good spot to bet on the Red Wings, but an even better spot to bet against Winnipeg. Plus, we're getting plus money here, guys. The Detroit Red Wings are plus 130. So please take them tonight. Uh, one of my favorite bets on the board. Now, before we get into the next game, I do want to make mention I have a very, very, very rare play. I have had 10 4% NHL money line bets in a year and a half. Ten of them. I've won eight. My NHL money line bets are the strongest plays I have in NHL. I am 43 and 22 since the start of last year in these plays. And I am five and one this current season. I got a 4% NHL play up tonight for my clients. Do not, under any circumstances, miss this play. We had one last week. It was on Nashville. It won 4 nothing. This one should win just as easily. Do not miss this play. Okay, let's move our attention to Calgary uh, playing the Utah hockey team. Now, Utah has lost four games in a row here. And they're playing a Calgary team that's lost three games in a row. Something's got to give. Well, I think we're going to see Utah win this game as well. Minus 125. Look, I'm not a big fan of either of these teams. They're both bottom feeder teams. And I know Calgary came out flying to start the season. But this Calgary team is not a very good hockey team. Uh, and the bottom line is, it's hard to lose five games in a row. And that's where Utah would be if they lost tonight. It's a short minus 125. I think you guys could take the Utah Hockey Club in this game. And I wouldn't be against playing the under here as well. Now we turn our attention to Vegas playing Los Angeles. And can someone please explain to me why there is another six on the board in a Vegas Golden Knights game? This team has scored five goals, seven goals, six goals, six goals. Yes, you heard that right. Five, seven, six, and six in their last four games. Three and three before that. This team keeps scoring. It never slows down. And I know they held Calgary to zero goals last game, but they're not going to hold the LA Kings to zero goals here. This LA Kings team scores. They just put up two, three, three, one, four, four, two, seven, one. So we know they're going to get at least one, and I think they get three tonight. Anytime there's a six on tap with the Vegas Golden Knights, I'm going to look to take them over, and we're going to do that in this game. Now we turn our attention to New Jersey, going in to play the Vancouver Canucks tonight. And guys, I got to tell you, man, I don't love taking over six and a halves. I almost very rarely release those to my clients. I got to go for over six and a half in this game. I mean, this New Jersey team can score. They just put up six on Anaheim. They have scored three or more goals in their last six games. They've scored five or more goals in three of their last five games. And they're no defensive juggernaut. Sure, Anaheim only put up two. The Islanders put up four. Detroit put up five. Tampa Bay put up eight. Washington put up six. This New Jersey team is a high-scoring team that lacks defense. And Vancouver... Well, they just went over three games in a row themselves. So I do like this game to get the seven or more goals here. So that's really it for the penalty box segment. Guys, please, I'm absolutely pleading with you to play my NHL 4% Moneyline best bet tonight. You can find it over at wt.buzz forward slash LP. Thanks so much for watching the show, and we'll see you all tomorrow.